Welcome to Gray Overload, I'm Anthony, and I finally got down and get, got a little bit more information, or at least am, I'm going to come to a conclusion of what I think is, um, and what people should do with Doe, and their spectrum monitor, and their whole service. This is previously called EVE, and one thing I said in my, my review of the the 4K Spectrum Monitor was, I don't get why they changed their name. It really didn't make any sense to me. But I gave this monitor a good review. I like the monitor. I still do. Uh, my friend likes it. He has one. It works great. I had a problem. I contacted support back when I received the monitor, which is, I think it's like two years now. Um, and I would receive it quite, you know, readily, the fix, and it was all taken care of. However, that is no longer the case. There has been context, and I want to thank Justin for kind of getting me the ball rolling on this so I could start reaching out to um, Doe on May 2nd. That was the first trying to contact them of their support, trying to get something going. And I'm asking them questions about what's really going on with their thing, and there has been no response to that inquiry at all. I have responded to that inquiry, to that support ticket. There has been nothing. And so this has started down, and I know Justin had reached out and updated his comment as well. And there's been other comments of people not getting their money back if they've canceled the order, people just not getting their products. And this is not the sort of thing you want to see from a company or want to do business with. And it is very unfortunate that this has not come to the surface. Uh, I, I guess I couldn't tell the future about what's going to happen with the customer service, but it is very disappointing, to say the least. I finally had to reach out to their press side of things, and this is where I finally got a little bit more of information. Now, the, they, what they did say and I will go into this a little bit of my own thinking, is that they thank me for reaching out, and I'm glad to hear that I've been enjoying the monitor, because I did say I did enjoy it, right? It's there. And they said, for my comments, and basically it was a question, uh, regarding some users reaching out to you, um, we cannot comment on a particular case without knowing the details. Okay, but I asked a generic question. My question was, um, why are so many people having issues and why is there no communication, no money back and why are you treating customers like this? Because I, customer service is a thing and it's something I'm going to be adding in to hopefully my unboxings going forward is trying to get more information about customer service because it's disappointing and needs to improve and this is one of the worst um, uh, people doing it right now, companies doing it, which is Eve. So Eve said we try our best to ensure each customer who contacts us is answered and responded to in timely manner. We know that that's not the case because I contacted them on 5-2. I also contacted them again two weeks later and there was, uh, what, what was it two weeks? I contacted them again a... Uh, a few days later and then I did send another response to them through the press line to get uh, more information and that's when I finally got a response. Now I did ask more questions and as you can um, already figure out they did not contact me back and so th they said that you being a customer, you can speak to this experience yourself. Well, I can also speak to the experience that you didn't contact me quite recently. I contacted you when I had an issue of the initial shipment of the 4K Spectrum Monitor, which has been a long time ago. I think it's been two years. So um, if this is the case, it, it, you know, they said if a customer is having an issue related to the topics you mentioned previously, we urge them to reach out to us directly and our customers support so we can resolve their issue except you're going through dough here and you're not getting any I'm still getting comments I've gotten a comment since I started this whole thing saying uh, 
uh, what was it? Uh, somebody complaining about their money. Uh, they had to call their credit card company to cancel transactions. Or, or they said to call the CC company because they never refund you your money. So I'm glad that I got my monitor at least. Um, it's very disappointing and they thank me for being a, a Doe Community Valley customer. I don't believe these words. Um, if you need further assistance, free to feel to reach out. I'm happy to assist you. Uh, I did reach back out. I did email back out. I have a sent item here. I have went through and asked all these questions that I'm proposing in the thing, pointing out the contradictory statements in their email of what they did not contact me. Um, as I have also reached out to um, trying to uh, understand banks and their return policies and all this other stuff, I've been reaching out behind the scenes there as well um, and trying to see where the refunds, why isn't there any money going back to the people. I've tried that. I've gotten no response in any of that. Um, I have gone to their community and I have gone through community posts of people still waiting for refunds. And this is refunds for um, even their V products uh, over a year here. This, and there's no response after eight days. This is just one of them uh, as well. This is, they, luckily they haven't deleted it. I have the link so I can keep checking it to see if it's um, doing it. And this is a disappointing video. I don't like to have to go through and be like, well, I like a product, but your customer support is horrible. This is the easy stuff, companies, is to get the customer support right. It's just one of those things. You just come along with the product. And to me, it ruins the product. It is one of those videos that I have to do because, to me, customer support is one of the key items in having a good product. If you don't have good customer support, I can't, uh, I have avoided companies <laughs> based upon customer support and this is one of those companies now I will be avoiding. It's a shame to see. Um, it's one of those things that as soon as a OLED 4K monitor comes out, this monitor will be replaced and it probably won't, um, I'll probably do a donation or something like that to somebody that needs it um, and, and that sort of thing, but it's not going to be something I'm going to be recommending going forward based upon their things. Now Eve or Doe, whatever they want to be called these days, is pushing very hard their OLED monitor. Just stay away. Um, if they can't figure out this customer service stuff, just stay away from their products. It's unfortunate that they wanted to go this route and that they did not want to um, actually support their product, actually get the product out to users, actually refund users their money that decided to lay out $100 and they said they would refund them and not stand up on their word. That is, messing with people's money is just something you don't do with Eve and that contradictory statement of saying that we are part and being a valued customer because we're not at that point. We are not at all. You do not value the customer and you treat the customer very poorly and I want to say thanks to all those users out there that were putting comments on I didn't think much of it with one comment, but once there was more than one and uh, Justin being able to communicate back, that was uh, very helpful on having me be able to go through and start putting some pieces together. I didn't have that experience until I started reaching out because I never had an issue. And now I am... Uh, I do feel like if I was going to have a problem with underneath warranty, they would never get back to me for it. Um, that's how bad the customer service is, and that means that this is a product that cannot be recommended. Do not buy. I will put a link to this um, to my review on there because and, or annotation or whatever I need to, be pin comments or something because it, this is just not acceptable at all. So. I have uh, rambled on. I've been disappointed a lot here, but hopefully that there is better customer service out there and that this will change in other areas and other companies will do it better. We don't know what evil do. I don't have any faith in them.
considering I've had um, a month now basically of contact we've had um, from May 2nd to June 1st here so one day shy of a month and I've had one response to three well four, four contacts uh, so I, I'm hitting 25% of the time and if I just keep sending stuff I'm sure that'll just get to a lower percentage <laughs> and I don't want to do that but um, let me know if you've had problems with Eve with uh, Doe, with their customer support, with getting your products, getting your money refunds. I do want to know because I, I want to get this out there and help people have a better experience and help people hopefully get some sunlight to this. I don't know how else to really put it out there to show, you know, Eve, Doe is making this huge mistake and not taking their customers, not refunding their money, etc. cetera. But, um, People not getting their money back is a big, big issue to me. Um, they supported your product with a um, with a down payment, and you said that if it was if you, they were going to cancel the product because you either took too long or you didn't have it or whatever reason, you were going to refund it. You're not doing those refunds. That's not acceptable at all. That needs to be cleaned up. That's horrible business. That's that's just a horrible way of uh, taking care of customers. It's um, it's unacceptable. I mean, not getting the product out on time or not getting the product to them either is unacceptable. I mean, there's a whole bunch here that Eve dropped the ball on. So, yeah, um, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, on there, leave your comments below. I will be sure to read them as well. But um, thank you guys for watching and supporting this channel. I do really appreciate it. Um, thanks. I know you guys don't see my normal background. Uh, I finally got my walls all skim coated, textured, painted, or prime painted, trimmed back up. I just haven't cleaned the floor up where I need to, to put everything back. So all the stuff is over, all the shelf is over here, not against the wall yet. And so you also see I got to get <laughs> um, the lamp back up there and stuff. So I got to do a little bit of electrical here, but uh, for the lamp or for the lights but i will get there so hopefully the next video i have this all there but i do thank you guys for watching supporting the channel let me know if you find anything else on here i will still be digging in still trying to send out emails and different ways of contacting them whatever i can to try to give it more information if i have an update that'd be great but uh stay away uh don't buy it i do appreciate all your support do all the youtube stuff like share subscribe click the bell icon all that fun stuff until next time god bless